a lot of people in general that like are, it, like, love working in crypto, you know, like not just uh, because it's an interesting topic, but also because it's like almost kind of an interesting lifestyle and like, yay, you know, like work can finally be fun on multiple levels. Edcon definitely does do a good job of capturing that spirit. A lot of the earlier DEF CONs focused on uh, presentations by the Ethereum teams, whereas here there's you know, a combination of you know, like some Ethereum research stuff, uh, some uh, projects. Both conferences are definitely really valuable, and like I do think that Ethereum is um, at the uh, scale at this point where there, like, you just can't have one single conference for the entire year. And things that I like about Ethereum culture in general is, like, not taking ourselves seriously, but at the same time accomplishing real impact. It's uh, definitely something unique and special that, you know, like, you don't see any anywhere else. Like, normally it's either boring and serious or ridiculous, and, like, I feel like the Ethereum community tries uh, hard to find a happy medium. There's a lot of really cool technical ideas, like some of the work around uh, decentralized exchanges, you know, like things like plasma chains and state channels that I uh, definitely didn't predict would uh, get uh, you know, get quite so far and quite and uh, quite so fast. I mean, I won't say there's uh, like one really big interesting thing that's happening at EdCon, but like the more important takeaway is that there's just a lot of people working on interesting little things. People spinning up plasma chains, there's people trying to spin up Casper pools, Ethereum applications for various use cases, there's just, you know, like people as young as 16, you know, like very actively trying to learn more about it. You know, just the, the amount of energy and activity and the quality of that energy and activity I think is really encouraging.